Hi guys, Kilohertz here. Good morning to you from an extremely cold December morning. It's absolutely freezing. Anyway, today's video, I'm gonna be um, showing you this new customer car that came in last night. Um, it's a 2002 209 CLK. Um, I think these are great looking cars. I had one previously before my uh, CLS. Anyway, um, what it's in for today is to get the complete interior updating to the later 2004 onwards model. As you may have seen from my previous video, the early cars like this have got the terrible early switch gear. I mean, just look at this. The, 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 how Mercedes thought that was acceptable back in 2002. Who knows? It looks just like off a transit van or something. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing today is completely removing all this, replacing this Audio 10 with the Audio 20 unit. Um, getting the new dials and the new switch gear at the top and also removing this really nasty early phone console. I've removed the lower centre dot dash section and the upper surround, which is just down here. Um, next stage is to remove the old Audio 10 device and fast forward another 10-15 minutes. As you see, I've completely removed the centre console, all the instruments and so on. There's no Audio 10 that's been removed. Upper controls as well, as well as the lower controls, the aircon, the ashtray area, as well as the um, gear surround. So next up, I'm going to remove the centre armrest and then move on to the glove box. Uh, glove box is a little bit tricky because it has a little mechanism which allows it to slow the open like so. Uh, we need to remove that as well as the um, CD changer which will not work on the um, Audio 20, you need a different unit. And see what we get on. So fast forward over an hour, um, I've completely removed the glove box and centre console. As you can see everything's been removed and now we're in a position to fit this which is the facelift dashboard. Uh, cage. All this has to come out just to fit this. Um, this allows you to fit the new faceless switch gear and the Audio 20, otherwise it won't fit in. So, I've got to put everything back. Wish me luck. So, it's early afternoon now, still bitterly cold. However, we're getting there. So, the new facelift cage has been installed. Just installing the side trim now and putting the glove box assembly back in place. Good morning guys. Uh, fast forward to the following day. Uh, the car's completed now. Um, everything's back in as it was before. We've got the centre console, got the lid, the surround, everything's back as it was. Um, also fit some brand new mats for the customer, which the customer supplied. But moving into the car, I'll go through what I've done. So, first of all, why is there a massive hole in the centre of the car? Well, unfortunately, the part which the um, owner of the car ordered off eBay uh, was falsely advertised. Um, he ordered the CLK Audio 20 head unit, and unfortunately, the C-Class, the 203 one, arrived. Now, looking at them side by side, they look virtually identical. Uh, the difference being is that CLK one is ever so slightly narrower. You're probably talking about five millimeters here, um, which will fit perfectly within the facelift cage. Uh, the C-Class one, however, won't. It'll stick out. And not only that, none of the screw holes actually align up, um, which you can just make out there. So unfortunately, um, we've had to contact the eBay, eBay seller and we're waiting to get the unit swapped over. But anyway, the rest of the car has been completed. Uh, as you can see, we've got the new, lot better, facelift controls. Um, I'll just switch on the ignition and show you through them. So everything's working as it should. The airbag light will go off in a second. Okay, so you've got the uh, heated seats are working fine. As you can see there. And likewise on the other side. The uh, headrest goes down. Clunk in the back. And of course the hazard lights are working. Oh, just switch that off. So bar the big hole in the center of the dash, all working fine. Temperature's working great. So you can make that out coming out the vents yeah so very happy with the install uh, apart from of course the set the head unit once we have that fitted um, I'll continue with either some photos or some video showing the final result
Right, so it's now a couple of weeks later after the conversion. The owner sent me this photo of the correct Audio 20 unit slotted in after the incorrect unit was returned back to the eBay seller. As you can see from the photo, it looks completely original, OEM, just like a 2004 onwards model would have left the factory. There's nothing on it that you can tell that it once had the older dashboard. Should you be thinking about doing this conversion to your own car, make sure that you have the correct Audio 20 unit. I'll provide the correct part number for this unit in the video description. If you'd like to have your CLK or C-Class updating the same as this video, or have any other modifications that you'd like doing, please get in contact with me via the About page on my profile, or via the email address listed at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a th thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel so you catch all future videos. Cheers.